So in this section, we are going to learn how to solve equations involving number bases. Now to solve equations involving number bases, basically you are going to use the approach such that you convert from other bases to base 10. So we are going to use the approach of converting from other bases to base 10 and then we find the value of x. So let's solve this problem together. This is question 1. So we have 1, 2, 3 base x equals 1, 0, 2 base 6. Now let's convert these values to base 10. So to base 10 we have 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x. The exponent we have 0, 1 and then 2. Now this is equal to 1 times 6 plus 0 times 6 plus 2 times 6. Now let's simplify. x squared times 1 is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. x exponent 0 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. This is equal to 6 squared is 36 times 1 is still 36. 6 exponent 1 is 6 times 0 is 0. And then 6 exponent 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 3. And then 36 plus 2 is 38. So we transpose that to the left hand side. We have negative 38 equals 0. We have x squared plus 2x. And this becomes negative 35 equals 0. Now the coefficient of the x squared term is 1. Coefficient of the constant term is negative 35. So we need to find factors of negative 35 that add up to 2 and then multiply to negative 35. So we have 1, 35, we have 5 and then 7. Now because we want to obtain 2, we say that this is negative and this is positive so that we can use this pair. So this becomes x squared plus 7x minus 5x minus 35 equals 0. Now let's perform factorization. So we factor out x, we have x plus 7 inside the bracket, minus we factor out negative 5, we have x plus 7 also in the bracket. So this becomes x minus 5, x plus 7 equals 0. So x minus 5 equals 0, x is equal to 5. x plus 7 equals 0, x is equal to negative 7. Therefore, since the equation is true for positive values of x, therefore we say that x is equal to 5. Now let's solve the second example. So for example 2. We are to find the number base x such that 35 base 7 plus 43 base x is equal to 61 base 10. So let's solve this example together. We have 35 base 7 plus 43 base x equals 61 base 10. So now using the approach that we used in the previous example, we are going to convert all these values to base 10. So we have 3 times 7, 5 times 7, plus 4 times x, plus 3 times x. And this is equal to, because 61 is in base 10, we can write it like this. So we leave it as such. Now let's simplify this. 7 exponent 1 is 7, 3 times 7 is 21. 7 exponent 0 is 1, 5 times 1 is 5. 4 times x is 4x. x exponent 0 is 1, times 3 is 3. And this is equal to 61. 
now 21 plus 3 is 24 plus 5 is 29 so we have 4x equals 61 so we transpose 29 to the right hand side and it becomes negative 29 now 61 minus 29 is 32 so we have 4x equals 32 we divide through by 4 and then we have x to be 8 therefore the number base x is base 8 now let's solve example 3 solve for x if 132 base x is equal to 36 base 2 x So we have 132 base x equals 36 base 2 x. Now let's solve this problem. So 1 times x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x, exponent 0, exponent 1, exponent 2 equals 3 times 2 x plus 6 times 2x so exponent 0 exponent 1 now on the right hand side the exponent is affecting the 2x not the x it is affecting 2x now let's simplify so here we have x square plus 3x plus x exponent 0 is 1 times 2 is 2 equals 6x plus 2x exponent 0 is 1 times 6 is 6. Now let's transpose the term on the right hand side all to the left hand side. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 6x plus 2 minus 6 equals 0. x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. The coefficient of the x squared term is 1, coefficient of the constant is negative 4. So we need to find factors of negative 4 that adds up to negative 3 and then multiply to negative 4. So we have 1 and then negative 4, we have 2 and then negative 2. But this is what we are looking for. 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so we can use this pair. So we have x squared plus x minus 4x minus 4 equals 0 so we factor out x we have x plus 1 minus 4 into brackets x plus 1 equals 0 so we have x minus 4 and then x plus 1 so x minus 4 equals 0 x is equal to 4 x plus 1 equals 0 x is equal to negative 1 now since the equation is true for positive values of x it follows that x is equal to 4 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye